by Duarte Garrido, entertainment reporter veteran TV entertainer Sir Bruce Forsyth has died at the age of 89, his family has said. It is with great sadness that the Forsyth family announced that Sir Bruce passed away this afternoon, peacefully at his home surrounded by his wife Will Neely and all his children, a statement said. It added that he had recently been visited by a friend who had asked him what he had been doing in the last 18 months. With a twinkle in his eye, he responded I've been very, very busy, being ill. Unfortunately, not long after this, his health deteriorated and he contracted bronchial pneumonia. Image Sir Bruce's career spanned 75 years in shows like Strictly Come Dancing and the Generation Game Sir Forsyth was an all-singing, all-dancing star of British stage and screen for 75 years. The game show host, famous for his nice-to-see-you, to-see-you-nice catchphrase, even held the record for having the longest television career for a male entertainer. That career in show business began when he was just 14 when he launched his song, Dance and Accordion Act Boy Bruce, The Mighty Adam. The Edmonton Burn star had decided to train and dance after watching Hollywood films starring Fred Astaire. He performed throughout World War II and travelled the UK with pantomimes and circuses where he became known for his strongman act. In 1958 an appearance with the comedian Dickie Henderson led to him being offered the job of compare on Sunday night at the London Palladium. Image A Dancing Sir Bruce pictured around 1950, before his game show days Sir Bruce continued to perform on stage throughout the 1960s and, in 1971, took on the job which would make him a huge household name. It was on Bruce Forsyth and the Generation Game that the entertainer introduced the world to his The Thinker pose emulating Rodin statue. He also wrote and sang the theme tune Life is the Name of the Game. Sir Bruce left the BBC in 1978 to present a show on ITV but that turned out to be a flop. After being replaced on the Generation Game, he then signed on to host ITV's Play Your Cards Right, and then You Bet in the Price is Right. Sir Bruce Forsyth has died aged 89. Here the entertainer is pictured after he was knighted by the Queen in 2011 Sir Bruce performing on the Avalon stage at Glastonbury in 2013 Sir Bruce with his wife Will Neely Merced at Royal Ascot in 2015 Sir Bruce with his Academy Fellowship Award at the 2008 British Academy Television Awards Sir Bruce carries the Olympic flame through Kensington ahead of the 2012 London Games Sir Bruce with fellow TV personalities Frankie Howard, Center, and Jimmy Hill back L.R. Henry Kelly, Jeremy Beadle, Matthew Kelly, Sarah Kennedy, Michael Barrymore, Lionel Blair. Front LR Jimmy Tarbuck, Mike Yarwood, Max Bygraves, Bruce Forsyth and Bobby Ball in 1983A Dancing Sir Bruce pictured around 1950 sitting on a beach in 1958 The Entertainer with singer and dancer Sammy Davis JNR in 1980 He returned to Saturday Night BBC Television in 2004 when he co-presented Strictly Come Dancing, which fought an ongoing ratings battle with ITV's The X Factor. Sir Bruce was able to keep dancing until 2014, when he formally stepped down from hosting the live show due to the long studio hours. As his TV commitments decreased, the 88-year-old could often be found on the golf course next to his home or with his wife Will Nelia, the 1975 Miss World Champion from Puerto Rico. But it was hard to keep the national treasure out of the spotlight. He appeared on the Avalon stage at Glastonbury Festival in 2013 and recorded a special Christmas message for his Strictly fans in December 2015. In the same year, he underwent surgery after suffering two life-threatening aneurysms. As tributes pour in for the star, there is one thing everyone will agree on D.I.D.N.T. he do well.